Hi friends, I'm gonna be teaching you in this video how to do a Turkish get up. If you don't know what that is, you're really missing out because it's a great exercise. If you know what it is, but you haven't attempted it because it looks a little bit scary, this video is for you. We're gonna be learning from scratch, starting at the bottom. Um, and if you wanna just do a half Turkish get up, that's also a really good core exercise, really good spinal extensor exercise, shoulder stability. There's a ton of kind of functional and dynamic motions that goes into a Turkish getup. So finding a weight or not, you can do it without a weight, um, but I'm gonna be using a kettlebell. Coming down onto your back and taking hold of that kettlebell. One of the main things that's important before you start is making sure that you're able to get your arm straight up overhead. You wanna make sure that the arm isn't out here and you have the mobility to go back overhead. If you don't, you can try some mobility exercises, walking your arm up a wall, leaning forward, um, or taking a stick and driving that arm up and just kind of holding it. Um, so as you build the strength and the mobility in your shoulders, you'll be able to work up to the full Turkish get up. But um, with that being said, laying down on your back, that weight with the arm is going to start down. The opposite arm is going to be out to the side. The leg that um, has the weight, that arm, that leg is going to be bent. So this is your driving leg. This is your hand, which you can use for support and that elbow as well. So it's important here to keep that low back nice and flat. You don't want to tunnel under your low back when you press up because then the pressure is going to be starting out in your back and you want it to start out and remain in your core. So from this position, punching that arm up to the ceiling, nice and strong here, shoulder blade kind of drawing down and in, and then one vertebrae at a time, keeping that low back nice and flat, you're going to roll all the way up. You can use the, this hand a little bit here, but then you're gonna press into your foot that's down and your hand keeping that nice and strong. So lowering back down nice and controlled, and then you're gonna go all the way back down one vertebrae at a time and bringing that arm down. Now, that is half the Turkish getup. So if you wanna just start with that, work through that a few times on both sides, um, then you can do that until you're ready to go on to the full Turkish getup. So, continuing on, we're gonna punch that arm up, go belly nice and flat, core engaged, we're going to sit up, making our way into the half Turkish get up. From this position, you have to have all your weight in that arm that's down and that foot that's bent. So core engaged, you're going to draw that leg underneath you. So at this point, you want to make sure that the weight is not and the pressure is not in your low back. Your belly should be nice and tight and your back should be pretty straight, even though it's angled off to the side. And then from here, we're going to stand all the way up. So core engaged, making sure that you're balanced, that toes tucked under, core is nice and tight before you stand fully up. Then from this position, you can stand completely up, reversing all the way back down. So controlling it, bringing that arm down, bringing that leg underneath you again, and then lowering down one vertebrae at a time. And then the arm comes down. It's really good to practice this exercise without a weight to start. Practice it in sections if you need to, piece by piece, because it is a pretty complicated and difficult motion where you need core stability, you need shoulder stability, you need shoulder mobility, you need hip mobility, um, and you really need some balance as well. So this is a really good exercise. I would say um, one of the best all around exercises if you want to work on shoulder stability, core strength, um, and balance, kind of all in one. There's lots of variations of this exercise. There's ways to make it harder. There's ways to make it easier. So I hope you guys learned something new. If you have any questions for me, just leave those down in the comment section. Bye guys.